Hi, welcome to another lesson I learned with peers. Today, let's talk about rounding numbers. What does it mean by rounding numbers? Rounding means making a number simpler, but keeping its value close to what it was. The result is less accurate, but easier to use. Rule: If a number is five or greater, round up the digit before it. If not, take the digit you are rounding and any digit before it and put it as zero. Let's look at some examples. Sixty-five. Rounding it to the tens digit. If we look back at the digit that we're rounding to, which is five, it is five or greater. According to the rule, if a number is five or greater, we round up the digit before it. So the answer is seventy. Let's take a look at another example. One hundred thirty-eight rounded to the tens place. So we're supposed to look at eight. Eight is greater than five. So the answer is one hundred and forty. Jeffrey has one hundred fifty-two apples. He wants to estimate the amount of apples he has to the nearest tens digit. What is Jeffrey's estimated amount of apples? Let's take a look. One hundred and fifty-two. One is the hundreds digit. Five is the tens digit, and two is the ones digit. Or sometimes called the units digit. What is Jeffrey's estimated amount of apple? We're looking at the nearest tens digit, so we're looking back at two. Is two greater than five? Two is not greater than five. It is less than five. So therefore, you round down. So the answer of this problem is one hundred fifty. Let's take a look at some more examples. One thousand and twelve, rounding to the thousands place. This time we look back at the hundreds place. Zero. We can easily confirm that zero is less than five. So the rounded version of this number is one thousand. Let's take a look at another example. One eight thousand nine hundred and seventy nine rounded to the hundreds place. So we look at the tens place. Seven, seven is greater than five. You might be confused because you might think nine hundred rounded up is already a thousand. So by adding a thousand to eight thousand, the answer is nine thousand. Let's take a look at another example. Negative fifty-three. This might confuse you because it is a negative number, but it is the same thing. Try ignoring the um negative sign. Fifty-three is rounded to the tens place, so looking back at three, three is less than five, so the answer is negative fifty. Let's take a look at two more examples. Five and seventy-nine hundreds rounded to the tens place means looking at the hundreds place. Nine is definitely greater than five, so the rounded version is five point eight, or we can say it as five and eight tens. And final example: sixty-eight thousand seven hundred twenty-nine and nine hundred eighty-seven thousands. This is a very long sample. But if we break it down, the only part that I want is actually just this part because it's the ones place. Looking back, we're trying to round the tens place. Nine is greater than nine is greater than five, so therefore we're rounding up. But similar to the second problem, this problem is also adding another ten. Nine becomes a whole number. So the total answer is sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and thirty. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new.